Hofstra has long had a specialty uh, on presidential studies. We have done scholarly conferences on every presidency's FDR. It worked out very, very well. And from then on, we had conferences because it was a winning formula, got us a lot of national attention, even international attention. We were widely regarded as the university in this specialty. And then the thought came to me that, you know, we needed a way to maintain and to enhance this study all year round. And we happen to have an incredibly generous and successful graduate of this university, Peter Calico, who stepped up. People don't realize um, what a difference a president can make. We're almost unique to be in a position to be able to exploit all of the resources that we have now achieved to study this office. I went to Peter with this idea about first a chair to attract the best American presidency scholar we could find around the country, and we found her, Mina Bose, who taught and organized lectures every year. The presidency is an institution that's ripe for study, and it's an institution that the undergraduates particularly are interested in because we care about individuals and the role that, in, that individuals play in history and American politics. And then we realized it was so popular and so important that we really needed to create a center. It helps you so much intellectually in your academic development to be able to have this structure established for you to pursue your field of study. This is the best way for students to learn uh, about some of these important things. And uh, that actually gave me the idea for the debate. It's been an honor for Hofstra to host two presidential debates. And the debates were a university-wide effort. Of course, the Calico Center, with its focus on presidential studies, had the opportunity to play a special role with the debate. I remember going over to the press room for the last debate and to see our students. I just as excited as can be. That's a tremendous experience for them, and, and, and I think they realize that they're being given a tremendous experience. We decided that it would be beneficial for students and for faculty and for our community to bring in senior presidential fellows who could complement our academic study with a practitioner's perspective. And so we brought in former Vermont Governor Howard Dean, former presidential candidate, and Republican strategist, political communications expert Ed Rollins. Mina provides the scholarly perspective and they provide some thoughtful analysis of what the real world of presidential politics and elections are. Those guys were at history and that's a great thing, that's a great resource and it's wonderful that Ed and uh, Howard do that because it's really, a, I think, a great thing for the students and especially because both of them are insightful thinkers. The point of the Calico Center the point of the Calico Chair, the point of the Calico Fellows, is that this is a place where there is the highest level of discussion and debate and examination of the most important public policy issues facing our nation. I think it's going to become really more, more important and more involved and more recognized as the years go on.